I really hate daylight savings time. Hey, what's going on? It's this old outboard with the 83 25 horse Evan Like I was saying, or said, I really hate daylight savings time. Still busting my ass on that painting job. And now, you know, the time has changed. It's going to get dark earlier anyway, but why change the freaking clocks? It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, get up earlier brush out, try to get home earlier, and get a little time in before it gets dark, and the mosquitoes come out and eat you alive. Anyway, yesterday, came home, pressure washed this puppy down, I'm going to do the power head today, I'm not going to put this thing together all nasty and greasy, I would like to put some paint on it first, but um, unsure of exactly what I'm working with, let's uh, Let's get it mocked up, get it started, and then pull it apart with some paint on it. All right, so what I've got here is the 1980 Powerhead Heaven Root 25. Um, if you've been watching these videos, took all the best parts from the black motor that originally came in that. 83 which is not a 25 horse I'm almost sure of that it had a 35 horse carburetor on it anyway this thing is filthy it's got some crappy paint that was shot on it I'm gonna clean it all up all right so I've got all kinds of cleaning crap and uh, I'm gonna pour a little acetone on this thing and see how far I can take the paint down and I'm going to use a little paintbrush, brush it around, and uh, hopefully it's going to take off a little bit more than that crappy paint. Taking the old paint right off there, just fine with me. Well, he greased this bucket. Old paint, you know, come off and actually clean old paint and prep it for new paint because it just heats up the finish on the old paint. Alright, so here's what I'm trying to figure out if this is going to work. This is the plate from the black motor, the original motor. This is the plate from the new motor the 1980-25 horse. Okay. See here the charge coils are in different positions. This one's pointing this way, this one's pointing this way. Okay. Your sensors, ignition sensors, are a little bit no, I, th I would say they're in the same place, according to the holes, which are the same, same holes, same shape, uh, bolt pattern. Okay. So, got these two holes, these two holes, this hole, this hole, this hole, this hole. The mount looks the same on the sensor. <clears throat> now the stator for the charging system is mounted here but there is no mount for the charging system here. <clears throat> Alright, now 
flywheels. Okay, I've got these two pencils right where the groove is for the key and pointing them groove is on this side groove is on this side <clears throat> which are pretty damn close to each other the difference is this is 76 tooth this is 74 the point I'm trying to get at is with this coil being different in, in a different position the charge coil will this combination work on that motor will this still fire when it should fire. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Or is it going to fire too soon? Now the magnets, like I said, the, the keyway slot there is pretty damn they're pretty damn close to each other just you got a little bit of a wider <clears throat> magnet over here where actually the magnet doesn't start until you get right there <clears throat> then on this one the magnet starts right there so you got a little bit bigger magnet over here now like I said, can this be used, this plate, on that power head? Or am I going to get a misfire? All right, I just got sidetracked with my neighbor. Now, where in the hell was I? Anyway, if I put this on with this flywheel, will this motor run? So, I need to know, is this going to work or not? Anybody out there can tell me, because I'm going to start putting this puppy together. I would like to have the charging system. I would like to have the electric starter. If I can't, then I'll use this system and I do have a pull starter to fit it but I'm not going to put the damn electric starter bracket in there I'm going to have to get another freaking bracket so anybody let me know is this going to work or is it going to fire too soon and uh you're looking at a 1980 Evan Rue 25 horse here. <clears throat> and I believe I tracked this motor down to, God, I can't even remember now, uh, 80, was it 87 through 90, somewhere around there. Anyway, Mr. Cramden, if you're out there, ha 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 buddy, help me out here. So, you know, if this was a little different, if the flywheels were a little bit different, maybe, I, you know, maybe I'm thinking, you know, I mean, the sensor's in the same place, Ch the charge coil is here, sensor here, same as this, charge coil's way over there. So, anyway, this is where I was going to start with this electric and uh, start getting this puppy put together this weekend so if anybody knows if this is going to work let me know hey all right so i got the uh, bottom here cleaned out cleaned up the power head um, I'm just going to put this sucker right back in there. 
and I'm not even going to bolt it down at the moment. Ugh. This one will set it right back in there. And uh, get ready to mock this puppy up. Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to leave this puppy in here. I'm not bolting anything down. I'm just going to mock it all up. And uh, should be enough just to get it started for two, three seconds. See, you know, see how it's going to run. Um, you know, I might throw a couple bolts in it just to hold it down. But um, need to find out if I can use that uh, ignition system off the original motor which I believe was like a 28, 30 horse, probably a good 10 year difference in, in uh, age on these two motors. Um, if you know anything about that, let me know. Is it gonna be uh, too advanced and, and spark? Is the timing spark gonna be off with that, with that situation on the uh, armature plate? You know, if you know, let me know because I want to get started on this thing first thing this weekend, I hope. And uh, still busy as hell, but I got to get, you know, a couple days off. Anyway, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks again for checking out my video.